So uh, with this little video I'm just going to talk a little bit about electronic nav, uh, kind of main, aimed at sailors, uh, boat racers, cruisers and the various advantages and disadvantages and the common pitfalls of electronic nav. Navionics is the, the obvious uh, a program that a lot of people think about with electronic nav. It has a lot of advantages but it also has a lot of disadvantages. Navionics is great in that we can log in online, you can work from your laptop if you're doing some passage planning for a route, you can do all that routing at home in the comfort of your own home. It's a little bit quicker than uh, traditional paper navigation in that you've got a very quick compass where you can very quickly get the true heading and the true distance from one point to another so that can make your passage planning a little bit quicker. One of the key things though to remember about Navionics is that it's a vector based platform which means that as we zoom in on the screen we get more and more detail and zooming in obviously gives us a huge amount of detail but there can be mistakes where we actually zoom in and get too much detail and we see openings in passages that may not actually be there in real life so you can zoom in so far where you think for example up here in Lambe, we sometimes might think there's a passage through this area here for example which in actual fact there may or may not be so there are advantages and disadvantages of, of this but then the disadvantage being of course when i zoom out i'm losing a huge amount of detail if i'm trying to do a large passage let's say from Dublin to Leary down to Cork for like Cork week that's coming up this year I can view all this on the big screen but then as I start to put in my route I won't necessarily see all the dangers that are on my route so what it means is we can build in a route we can build in waypoints but because we can drag and drop them we can actually then or what we must do is actually zoom in along our route and make sure there's no dangers and so on and so forth along our way. And I'm logged in here to my Navionics and if I go in here to my menu, I'm just gonna show you a quick route that I did last year, or two years ago in fact, um, bringing the boats down for, for Cork Week. So if I go into my routes here, and there's a lot of routes, but if we scroll down here and we're gonna look at DL Cork, I'm just going to let this load up and here it's built up my route from Dunleary down to Cork. I can zoom in and I get my details of my various waypoints and then I can check along my route for any dangers. As you can see I came down here, stayed inside breaches of moldage coming past greystones round Wicklow, changed course, came inside the Arklow Bank, and so on and so forth. On the left hand side of the screen here, it also gives me the bearing and the distance and the expected journey time from one waypoint to another. The expected journey time is something you build in in your boat settings. You can put in the cruising speed of your boat under engine or the average speed of the boat under sail, which will give you uh, a nice rundown of your route along the way. So, as you can see, there are many advantages to that, and we can zoom out and we can see the whole route. If you've paid the various subscriptions, all of this is cloud-based, so it will all combine with one another. And you can run this on your iPad, or you can run it on your, uh, you can upload it to your chart plotter on board your boat if it supports it. Just to show you for the Round Ireland in 2018, one of the things we did before leaving as well was put in the Round Ireland route in 2018. As you can see, it's a very basic route. Uh, there's only about 25 waypoints in that route, but it gives us the basic route around Ireland of the various headlands we had to obey by for the racing rules. Very handy to do at home, works on your iPad, iPhone, and as I said, provided you pay the various subscriptions and work with your chart plotter, you can upload this information easily to your chart plotter. However, one of the biggest disadvantages of Navionics, apart from the vector side and the zooming issues with not seeing detail at lower, at higher resolution, is Navionics doesn't take into account weather forecasts. Although we can view tidal data such as tidal streams, tidal bell curves for harbors and ports, which is all massively useful information. Unfortunately, 
and avionics cannot do any course to steer or estimated position calculations for us. So it's not what some people would refer to out there as a routing program. During this time, you're gonna have maybe a little bit more time in your hands, so it's a good idea to start exploring these options. Some of the options we use for, for weather routing, depending on our what, what our discipline is, whether we're racing or cruising, are some other paid subscriptions, but easily usable. A personal favorite of mine is Predict Wind. This is Predict Wind Offshore. It's a app downloader that works on both PC and Mac. And Predict Wind, you could, there's various levels of, sub, sub, of subscription. You can pay for basic weather. You can get a professional version that takes into account tides and wave data and so on and so forth. By no means am I going to show you absolutely everything there is to do with Predict Wind because it's quite complex. Um, but there are lots of video tutorials online with Predict Wind and be a good app for you to use. As you can see here, just at the moment, I have a very basic broad view of Ireland with a bit of weather information downloaded. I've also can set in a small route here. As you can see, here's my star point in green. My star point is in green here, and my end point being Cork here. And one of the limitations here of Predict Wind is it is primarily a weather software. It's not a professional routing software. So it does not take into account land. So as you can see here, it's put my track over land. But I can quite easily add in various waypoints and then very easily drag them so I get a safe route around the country for wherever I'm going. This is a basic subscription, so the weather routing program isn't, is, or the weather routing features aren't there. But what Predict Wind will do, provided you paid for the various uh, data to be downloaded, such as tidal information, wave information, and the various weather forecasts, is based on what we call the polars of your boat. Now, what are polars? Polars, in their simplest sense, are the expected speeds of your boat. Uh, relative to the wind and relative to the amount of sail area you have up. We can get basic polars for pretty much any boat online and we can upload them into Predict Wind or you can even put in custom polars on, on Predict Wind. To use Predict Wind would involve hours of, of teaching but it's an app that you guys can download and use at home in this, in this time. Another app that some people use is Squid. Uh, Squid is a very similar program um, which is available both on Mac and PC as well. Squid has a lot of similar functions such as weather routing, weather forecast information also available. Works on Mac and PC and a very useful app to, to work around when you're at home. So what do we use? Well uh, depending on for racing or cruising we've used a mixture of Squid and Predict Wind. Um, Predict Wind we used primarily for navigation last year when I was navigating Freya, the XP50 on the Delir to Dingle, and we used Predict Wind off the laptop and off the uh, iPad for that route. And then finally, what do the professionals use? Well, um, if you were doing this full time and professional, you need charts, you need a lot of different weather models, so on and so forth to come in. So you'll hear people talking about Adrena, Expedition, various reading programs like those. Those, weather, those reading programs are absolutely excellent. They're a little bit higher up the price range, but certainly for people who have an interest in weather reading, electronic navigation, in this time off, if you wanted to use your time wisely, have a look at setting up an avionics account, maybe a Predict Wind account and a Squid account. Feel free to use them, play around with them. There's lots of video tutorials available from the developers online and um, they're a whole load of fun. That's it for now. We've got more videos coming down the line. Uh, stay tuned. Um, this evening we're going to have a look at building up some of our favourite YouTube videos. So uh, that'll be released in the next few days. Stay safe.